You are watching Tutor Mage. Most Essential Learning Competency Code M7NS1E-1 Expresses rational numbers from fraction form to decimal form and vice versa. Great day po mga ate at kuya! Before we start, let us recall decimal place values. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. Keep it in your mind. Now, watch and listen to Chuttermage! Ang main topic natin ngayon ay expressing rational numbers from decimals to fractions. Sana napanood nyo rin yung video natin kung paano mag-express ng fraction to decimals. Simulan natin sa example number 1, which is terminating decimal. 0.75. So, anong una natin gagawin? Step 1. Take the decimal part and make it as numerator. So, ang decimal part natin dito ay yung 75. Step 2, write 1 as the denominator. Step 3, count the decimal place values. So, bilangin natin. Isa, dalawa. So, meron tayong dalawang decimal place. Ibig sabihin, Kukuha tayo ngayon ng equivalent zeros nito. So, lagay tayo ng dalawang zero. Simplify fraction if possible. Ang 75 over 100 ay hindi pa simplified. Kaya, i-divide natin ang 75 and 100 doon sa ating greatest common factor for 75 and 100. So, both can be divided by... Tama, 25. So, let's try. 75 divided by 25, we have 3. 100 divided by 25, we got 4. Therefore, yung 0.75 na yan, ito ay equal to 3 fourth. Example number 2, terminating pa din. So, meron tayong 0.125. Gawin din natin yung step kanina. Take the decimal part and make it as numerator. 1, 2, 5. So, gawin natin numerator. Ang step 2, write 1 as the denominator. Ngayon, sa step 3, bilangin natin kung ilang decimal place values ang nasa given natin. So, we have 1, 2, 3. And 3. So, dahil tatlo, sa step 4 natin, we have to add an equivalent zeros to the denominator. So, meron na tayo ngayong 125 over 1,000. Now, let's have the greatest common factor of 1 to 5 and 1,000. Kasi, yun ang gagamitin natin to simplify the fraction. So, ang GCF nito ay 125. So, both can be divided by 125. 125 divided by 125, we have 1. 1,000 divided by 125, we have 8. Therefore, 0.125 is equal to 1,8. Number three example, non-terminating. So, pag sinabing non-terminating, ito yung hindi na humihinto o walang end point yung ating decimal value. So, lagay tayo ng 0.1818 as an example. Ngayon, lagyan natin ng vintulum o yung bar sa taas ng repeating decimal. Unang step, count the repeating decimal. Decimal. So, bilangin natin. 1, 2. So, meron tayong dalawang repeating decimals. 
step 2, let n be equal to 0 0.18. Multiply both sides by 100. O, dito, take note, pag magmumultiply tayo ng 0 0.18 sa 100, adjust pa rin tayo kasi diba 18 rin ang katabi ni 0.18. So, meron pa siyang 18, 18, 18 doon sa gilid. So, kumpletuhin lang natin. Pag nag-multiply tayo ng 100, dagdag lang ng dasa, dalawang decimal place. So, 100 times n is 100n equals 0 0.1818 times 100 magiging 18.18. .18. Now, let us solve for n. Paano ba natin isosolve si n? So, magsusubtract lang tayo ng n equals 0 0.18 from 100n equals 18.18. Subtracting 100n minus n, syempre, 99n na lang. And then, 18.18 minus 0 0.18 is the whole number 18. Next, yung 99n is equal to 18 natin, ay kailangan natin i-divide both by 99. So, slash out muna natin yung 99 natin, and then 18 and 99, Ano ang ating greatest common factor for both? Both can be divided by 9 para masimplify natin. So, 18 divided by 9 is 2 and 99 divided by 9 is 11. Kaya, ang 0 0.1818 natin, when expressed to fraction, it is equal to 2 over 11. It's quiz time! Ihanda ang papel at lapis. Convert the following decimals to fractions. Number 1, 0 0.8. Number 2, 0 0.35. Number 3, 0 0.66 with a vinculum. So time starts now! Ang mga sagot, number 1, 4 fifth, number 2, 7 over 20, number 3, 2 third. Perfect mo ba? Congratulations! Like and subscribe to Tormed Happy Learning!